hello guys welcome back to my channel this is relocation pathway where i share with you tips and information on how you can successfully relocate to country of your interest like canada united kingdom european countries so today in this video i want to share with you how you can get jobs in canada so do you know that you can migrate to canada for a very low cost yes this is a very good route that a lot of people have used to migrate to canada sharing with you step-by-step -step process the website where you can go to to get all these jobs you can migrate to canada with a work route in which you submit your application to an employer then they are going to interview you and give you a job offer but on this side there are some jobs that are LMIA approved these are the ones that is very good for you as somebody migrating to canada by the time you get these jobs and you migrate to Canada, you can even change your employer. So if you know anyone that needs this, don't forget to share with them. Or you have somebody that already in Canada that is with a visit visa and wants to change their employer. Do well to share this video with them so that they can get this information as well. So I'm going to be taking it to the screen now. Where you're going to see how you can put in your application so don't forget to watch this video to the very end if you see this, this, this as a value to you and this is what you need consider subscribing to this channel and turn on your notification so you can get more updates on the informations like this and now you can make you successfully to canada so these employers are going to be interviewing you right from your home country and then you are going to give an interview after the interview they give you a job offer as long as you fit into the job okay so if you are coming across my website uh, my channel for the first time consider subscribing to this channel and be able to turn on your notification button and guys now let me take you to the screen So guys, this is the website Immigration News Canada. It's where you're coming to. Just type that in your browser, and then you see LMIA approved jobs in Canada. Here is how you can find them. Okay, so you see, getting LMIA approved jobs in Canada can often be difficult as the employer needs to apply for an LMIA and receive a positive response. So all right so they need to apply to get a response in general service canada will issue a positive lma for if an assessment reveals that hiring a temporary foreign worker so you're like a temporary foreign worker and you can positively impact the canada labor market so down here you're going to be seeing the steps by which you are going to uh, do this now, so there is a website where you're going to, which is called Canadian Job Bank website. So you are going to click on that. Now I'm going to be leaving the this, uh, link to all these sites in the description below. So when you get to the Job Bank, you're going to uh, scroll down. That's what you see, and then you scroll down. You're scrolling down to where you find for uh, temporary foreign workers temporary foreign workers so when you get there you click on temporary foreign workers and then um, a page is going to pop up to you so when you get to this page now you are clicking on search you see search uh number of jobs uh, job posting so you click on that that search job posting when you click on that, it's going to take you to where you're actually going to. If they take it to where you're actually going to, that is where you're going to be seeing all the jobs that um, you're going to apply for. So under that, you can see all the routes there. The information that the time fire worker, you have the right to change your employer while you're in Canada. So even whatever job you go with doesn't mean that's where you have to stay with 
So when you come to Canada as a temporary foreign worker, you will be granted. It, I mean, you will be granted the work permit for a period of time. You may need to change um, your work permit before you can start working for a different employer. So clicking on that, that's the page I'm talking about. That is going to land you to where you can find in the job. All right. So if you look at your um, left hand corner, you're going to see. How you're going to filter for the NMI job. So down there, you are clicking on NMI approved. Until then, you start seeing all those blue ticks. Okay, until then, you start seeing all those blue ticks. So now, after seeing all those blue means there are NMI approved jobs. Okay, so you see now, I'm scrolling that you can see a lot of jobs, job board, and you can even filter. To the particular job you are you need, okay, by location, um, by I think by salary as well, and but most important because I, a foreign worker you must click LMI approved. So now I clicked on one of the jobs there. You can see all the details about the particular job. The date was posted. I submit that it is now. Let me point your attention to the fact that. You can see that round green button. You can see that round green button. It's very important that you find that before you put in your application to wherever job, because that is a I mean, signif that signifies that that job is an LMI approved job, which is what you need as a temporary worker. Okay, so you can see the details I was written. Uh, beside that green uh, run voting. So you can see every other detail that you can find about that job here. Eh? Then if you go down, 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 you see how you can put in your application. Most of the time, you just need to send a mail. You just need to send a mail to the employer and then they get your information. So you can see how to apply. There will be a button there, but the button there that I clicked on that gave me that email again. So, guys, for more information, tips, and values like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share. Thank you.